Hey, this is Mike from Junkie on Crafts and Builds, and this impromptu video is to go through a 3D printed piece to support the Jimbao Like Toys version 2 adapter piece for their Devastator. And what this piece does is allow you to use both the new upgrade piece and the original Jimbao upgrade kit. So the gentleman who created this, Tim Yoser, and Tim, if I butcher your name, I apologize in advance, uh, put a post on the Transformers ERC Facebook page yesterday saying that he had designed this adapter to marry these two upgrades together and it gives you a little more height and stability for the Jimbao Devastator. So a group of us were talking about trying this, trying this out, so I went on to uh, the link where I could purchase the STL file. And what I've done today is printed out a set and I'm going to try it on my my kit here and show you how uh, how it looks. This is the adapter piece right here. Now I printed this two different ways. I printed it unsupported and then I printed it with supports just to see how it would look. And this is PLA um, and the supports can slide off as easily as anything else. They are, as you can see, it's honeycombed fairly well. So this is a pretty substantial piece. Uh, even with PLA, it's not gonna break. Put that to the side. I'm still trying to get the color right. I gotta go find some uh, some PLA or ABS that's gonna match the purple for both the G1 and G2 upgrade kit. So let's just go ahead and uh, fit these pieces on. So we're gonna start with the bottom part. That scrap or mix master would attach to the bottom of the version one kits. And basically all we're doing is sliding down the back and sliding it in. So as you can see, and if I would put it on right, sorry about that, everyone. There we go. So there's the piece slid in properly, right? Now you can see that before with the kit, there's this little window that pops up for the original one. It's spring loaded. Now this adapter piece, it kind of comes up flush to the back. And I talked to Tim via Facebook about it and he said yeah that his version didn't have this little piece so this is an easy fix for those that are able to do it like in tinkercad or something just to take this little tab and slide and just cut it in a touch so that way this piece can go back goes back up because that'll secure it a lot better um it's pretty tolerance is pretty decent but like i said i think that little bit that little change will do wonders for uh for this adapter piece so there's one, slide this one in, there's two, and this is the unsupported one, and you can see it goes on a little, goes on a little tighter, but that's also, I just filed it down a little bit for my copy. All right, so there's that. So now let's get these pieces in, and it's really simple, just like you see here. Um, you're gonna slide it in, and slide it all the way up now i also talked to him because as you can see this is a this is a tight fit i mean heat tolerance this to the millimeter so when you have this on it's not coming off easily before making the video i had it on before and i had to use my uh my wallet ninja to pry it back out and I even remove the pieces on the side just to get a grip to get this out so He'd, he said he made it that tight, so that way it helps with the stability. See what I'm saying about this bottom part? Um, but this top part, I mean, that is, that's on there. It is not coming off at all, unless you, like I said, pry it off. Now we put the other end on. And this one might need a little more touch up on my end. There we go. That's that. Um, Bravo to Tim for this design. Um, it's really, really intuitive. And I think it looks good. It'll look better in the right color, obviously. Now, if you have a concern about showing this little piece off here, um, you could always just 3D print a block that's the same uh, depth and such and glue it on there if you're never gonna take it off and your woes will be gone. No, but other than that, this is uh, this is really good. So I'll put a link to uh, to Tim's page where you could download the STL files for yourself, and then you can go ahead and build your uh, your Devastator, and he'll be a little taller than uh, 
what he was before. Anyway, that's it. Talk to you guys later.